Well, good morning, guys. It is a Saturday morning, and it is the weekend before the long weekend in May, which means it's Mother's Day weekend. Today, we're heading down to the camper. We're going to try and get that floor fixed up and get ready for the camping season. So hope you stay tuned. First things first, boys, we gotta hit Tim Hortons because uh, we've gotta work until noon time today. So let's head in and get ourselves a tea. And now that we've got our tea, let's head off to work. So guys, welcome back to the shop. It's Saturday morning and I just wanted to give you a quick little update on some of the newer vehicles that have hit the lot over the last day or so. Right here, we've got ourselves a 2014 Chevy Sonic. And yes, as you can see in the front, it looks like it's got a little bit of a damaged damage grill here. I've got a new grill and we are going to touch up the bumper a little bit there where the paint has been scuffed. Just like it should be with a car that has 44,000 kilometers. And another new one that we've had here that just came in yesterday is this 2015 Chevy Cruze. This is an LT model. So again, it's the four cylinder turbo. It's got the backup camera. It's got all kinds of goodies, 49,000 kilometers. This one and the Chevy Sonic will both be going through the shop first of the week and hopefully get them on the lot as soon as possible. And one more that showed up here late last night as we had to travel quite a distance to get it. Uh, I didn't travel, I sent drivers is this 2014 Nissan Rogue. Other than a new set of tires and a good cleaning on the inside, which Junior is coming in this morning uh, to get a start on that, this is a really, really nice rig. I love the color. This one has the panoramic sunroof. It does have push button start and the proximity key as well as somebody has installed a remote start on this vehicle. And as we look inside, it's not too bad. It's what we classify in this industry as clean dirt. It should clean up very, very nicely. And one last update that I'll give you on the 35 inch tire swap on the old shop truck. I have ordered uh, hub centric wheel spacers, which I will show a picture on the screen here right now, as well as I have a leveling kit that I got off of eBay. Again, I will show that picture up on the screen and I have a line on some 18 inch wheels. Now I have looked through Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji, which is like Canada's Craigslist, to see what was out there for Ford factory 18 inch wheels. And there's a few of them out there and some of them are in pretty good shape. The prices aren't bad either. I did email, or sorry, I did message one fella and he seemed pretty keen to jump on uh, the fact that they were still available right away. Uh, but after that, he wouldn't reply to my messages. So I guess we're gonna have to toss those ones out the window and we might look at maybe even some newer styles, uh, maybe some new wheels um, to see what's out there available. That way we can just buy them, have them shipped right here. Uh, they may cost us a few more dollars, but at the end of the day, we got something that's a little bit custom and will look a little bit better on the truck than just some plain old stalkers. So stay tuned for that. And now we're gonna head back down to the campground and see if we can't get that floor finished up. Okay, folks, we have made it down to the campground and we have been working away at this floor for, well, not too long. And uh, we got some new plywood here. We got the old floor tore up and I kept all the old flooring for a simple, for the simple fact that it works as a template for cutting out the new floor. This stuff was just quarter inch Luon. We're using half inch. So let me show you what part of the problem was with this floor. So as you can see, this is an ultra light and it's a flagstaff 32 foot and the framework on the floor is basically sandwich board you've got the aluminum one by ones 
you've got this uh, blue one down below which is kind of layered with a uh, canvas type material and then you've got the styrofoam and then you've got the blue on and then the flooring so it's like a sandwich floor and part of the problem was there was no support here so I had to put some in here and brace it up but because it is Luon, it does delaminate. And uh, so you can see that the styrofoam, I've had to add some new stuff in here. And if we actually come in here further, there's some of the stuff all tore up. You'll see where it has delaminated from the fabric on the bottom and from the actual floor joist, which is supposed to be glued to. And what ends up happening is when you start walking on it over time, it gets bouncy and everything kind of pulls away from itself and all you've got are these one by one aluminum rails that you see going across here that are holding the weight of you and your family so again what i did was i put in some bracing here to help uh, to help stiffen that up and i did that uh, two years ago when we initially put the flooring down and uh, like a fool i just replaced what was done originally well that didn't work out so well because when it got wet again it just curled buckled and here we are so what we've got is we've got all the pieces cut out, or at least three of the big pieces. Everything else is just small stuff. And we're gonna start laying that down and getting things uh, screwed in. So I'm gonna work away at that for a bit. Hope you guys will stick around. Cue the music. So the old GoPro dive, we do have the floor, the three main pieces uh, done. And uh, we've just got one little piece to kind of scab in here. And right now, we are working in the bathroom. We've got to replace this whole little section right here. And the time has come that we've got to pull the flange out of the floor. And man, don't it stink. Just standing here is enough to make me gag. So. I'm not looking forward to it. Let's see if we can get that thing uh You be quiet out there. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this thing pulled up. I think I'll turn this fan on though. There we go. That ought to draw that stink right up by my nose. <laughs> so, we gotta pull this out. I won't show you what's inside there. I just hope this doesn't come flying at me. Oh! <laughs> go darn! Now that we've got that off, we can tear the floor up around it. I won't bother you with the gory details, and we'll come back just as soon as uh, we're piecing this wood back together here. Wish me luck. So now that we've got that out of the way, this is somewhat the finished product, at least for today, where we've got the floor, all three pieces in here, as well as the bathroom. And we've got two small sections left, and that's this piece right here. That is not wet, that is just old laminate that was kind of stuck to the foam. I didn't bother to scrape off. So we've got this little section here to do and on either side of the bed. And we're gonna hold off on either side of the bed because we believe that is where our water problem is. So for two reasons, our skylight is broken. So there may be some water coming in there, but also around the actual vent itself, uh, the caulking is all cracked to pieces as well as on all these seams. So, on a really nice day, similar to today, we will get up on the roof and we'll uh, reseal everything along the roof. And then that way, hopefully, no more leaks. So that's all we got down here today. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll see if we can't get that floor finished up and uh, put this project to bed so that we can come back on the long weekend, which is next weekend, and enjoy our camping season. So that's where we're at. So guys, this is going to conclude yet again another video of Old Car Auto Guy. We have several other projects that we need to get done, such as the roof over the deck. We still need to replace these stairs because they're starting to rot out. We've got the wall art project, but we're still waiting for license plates. So if you guys have got any spare license plates you want to send me, my addresses are in the description box below. Please send those out. As well as get this garage cleaned up at some point because I can't find anything. So guys, check out the five links in the description box below. Those are five other ways that you can help support this channel other than just watching my videos. 
The fifth one being my sponsor, which is Sussex Beard Oil, and I want to thank Matt for sponsoring this beard, because without his products, I would look like this. And in all actual fact, I'm using one of his products, which is the Charcoal Activated Beard Soap. It's good for your beard to help get all those oils and stuff off so you can start fresh every day. So guys, if you go to sussexbeard.com and order a regular size Sussex Beard Oil, you can get a travel size Sussex Beard Oil absolutely free by using the promo code GLOVEBOX. All you gotta do is put both products into your cart, enter in GLOVEBOX in the promo code, and you will get that travel size for free. So thank you Sussex for uh, sponsoring this beard and this channel, and I hope that uh, you guys who need it can head over there and get some for yourselves. So guys, as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon. I know this is hopeless, moving in slow motion, trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our bar talk. This is a no pro I just can take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no pro